welcome to iit foundation math tricks 8th class mathematics it is so in this class i will discuss with you number of factors for a given number number of factors of a given number how can you calculate the number of factors for the given number first i will discuss with you what is meant by factor it is what is meant by factor factor means what is meant by factor factor means A number is exerted usable by which number? Suppose six, 4. 4 is exerted usable by which numbers? 1, 2 and 4. Okay. Suppose 6. 6 is exerted usable by 1, 2, 3 and 6. 4 factors are there. So, for 6 how many factors are there? 4 factors are there. Suppose let it be for 8. How many factors are there? 1, 2, 4 and 8 it is. 4 factors are there. Suppose 12. How many factors are there for 12? It is divisible by 1, divisible by 2, divisible by 3, divisible by 4. So, divisible by 6, divisible by 12 it is. Okay. How many factors are there? So, 6 factors are there for 12. Just like. So, factors means a particular number is exactly divisible by which number that are called the factors of a given number it is. So, 4 is divisible by 1, 2 and 4. So, 1, 2, 4 are called the factors it is. So, the factors are only limited number. Only limited number of factors are there. So, limited number of factors. If you take any number, there are limited number of factors. It may be 10 or 12 or 14 or 3. It may be uh, any number, but limited number, constant number of factors are there. Okay. Now, in this class, I will discuss with you in detail about uh, how can you calculate the number of factors for a, a larger number is given. Okay. First, I will discuss with you what is the concept related to number of factors. What is the nature of the factor that I will discuss with you first it is. Suppose let it be 12. So, 12 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. So, how many factors are there? 6 it is. Okay. Now, let it be 15. What are the factors of 15? Divisible by 1, divisible by 3, divisible by 5. So, divisible by 15 it is. Clear? What are the factors of 18? So, divisible by 1, divisible by 2, divisible by 3, not divisible by 4, 5, 6, divisible by 6, divisible by 9. So, divisible by 18 it is. By observing the nature of the factors here, for each and every number, the first factor is 1. Observe here, first factor is 1. For each and every number, the first factor is 1. Similar way, the last factor is the number itself 12. The number itself 12. Now, here 15, here 18, the number itself. First factor is 1, the last factor is the number itself. By taking the product of first and last factor, by taking the product of first and last factor, gives the number again. Get the number again. Now, take the product, first and last factor, 1 into 18, 18. Similar way, second factor from last second factor, take the product again, 2 into 9 is, gives the number again, 18. So, 3 into 6 is 18 it is. That is the nature of the factors. Product of first and last factor, second, second factor, third, third factor, fourth, fourth factor. Just like the product gives the number again, that is the nature of the uh, factors it is. If you take any number, always the product of first and last factor is same. From first to second, from last second, product is same. From first to third, from last to third, product is same always. That is the nature of the factor. Now, observe for 15 also, 1 into 15 is 5, 1 into 15 is 15, 3 into 5 is 15. Now, for 12 also, 1 into 12 is 12, 2 into 6 is 12, 3 into 4 is 12 it is. That is the nature of the factors it is. If you take any larger number, so by using this logic, we can calculate the number of factors. But a simple logic shortcut is also there. To calculate the number of factors, I will explain that also. A trick is there. So, that I will explain. Okay. See here, a larger number is given. How can you calculate the number of factors it is? Suppose, let it be 120. So, 120 is given. How can you calculate the number of factors for 120? So, the first factor is 1. The last factor is the number itself 120. Clear? So, it is divisible by 2 by dividing 2 by dividing 2. 120 by 2. How much you got? 60. So, from last second factor is 60 it is. So, the product gives the number 2 into 60 is 120. Now, it is divisible by 3 by dividing 3 40 it is 40. 
it is divisible by 4 also so for 30 cities from last 30 it is divisible by 5 also 524 is 120 it is divisible by 6 also 620s is 120 not divisible by 7 divisible by 8 815 is 120 now divisible by 10 10 12 is 120 so these are the factors it is 10 12 now what are the total number of factors here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, number of factors, number of factors equal to 16. For 120, number of factors equal to 16. So, by taking the product of first and last factor gives the number, second, second factor gives the number, third and third factor product gives the number, by using that logic, we can identify here the number of factors are 16. But without writing, without counting, we can say how many factors are there for the given number. Without writing, without counting, we can say how many factors are there for the given number. So, see here for 120, what is the trick? See here, what is the trick here? Without writing and without counting, how can you say the number of factors? So, for 120. So, the first step is 120 can be written as product of prime numbers it is. What we do? Can be written as product of prime numbers. Divide with only prime numbers, 2, 60s. Now, divide with only prime number, 230s. Okay, 215s. Now, it is not divisible by 2, 3, 3, 5s. Now, it is divisible by 5, 5 ones. Now, 2 power how many values are there? 2 power 4, 2 into 2 into 2, 2 power 3 it is, 2 power 3. Now, 3 power 1 into 5 power 1. So, 120 can be written as product of prime numbers, divide with only prime numbers. All of you understand? So, by dividing with only prime number, 2 power 3 into 3 power 1 into 5 power 1. Now, apply the trick, mass trick. What is the trick here? Each power is increased by 1. Each power, listen to me carefully, each power is increased by 1 and take the product it is. So, power is increased by 1. Now, here 3 is there, 2 power 3 is there, power 3 means increased by 1, 4. Now, 3 power 1 is there, power 1 is there, increased by 1 again, 2. Plus 1 it is, 1 plus 1. Okay, now 5 power 1 is there, again 1 plus 1. So, each power is increased by 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1 and take the product that gives the number of factors. 4 to the 8 to 8 to the 16. So, how many factors? 16 factors are there for 120. All of you understand? Very simple trick is there, very simple trick is there. How can you get that one? So, given number can be written as product of prime number, that is the first step. Now, each power is increased by 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1 and take the product that gives the number of factors for the given number. Okay. So, I will discuss with you some more examples of this. I will discuss with you some more examples by using this trick it is. Suppose, let it be for 180. How many factors are there? So, 180 can be written as product of prime number. That is the first step. Divide with 2. So, 290s. Divide with 2, 245s. Divide with 2, not divisible by 2, divide by 3, 315 cities. Now divisible by 5, 3, 35s. Now divisible by 5, 5 1. So it can be written as 2 square into 3 square into 5 power 1 it is. So first step is given number can be written as product of prime number. What is the second step? Each power is increased by 1 and take the product here. So, power is here 2 power 2, 2 is there, 2 plus 1, 3. Now, 3 power 2, power 2 is there, increased by 1, plus 1, 2 plus 1 is 3. Now, 5 power 1 is there, increased by 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So, 3, 3 is 9, 9, 2 is 18. So, how many factors are there for 18? 180, how many factors are there for 180? 18? 18 factors are there. So, here without writing and counting, Without writing and counting, we say how many factors are there for the given number. Okay. So, Abjo, I will discuss with you one more example here. Let it be 240. So, how many factors are there for 240? So, what is the first step? Given number can be written as, so product of prime numbers it is. Okay. Divided by 2. 2 1s, 2 2s. Now, again divided by 2. 2 60s. Again divided by 2. 2 30s. 
again divided by 2, 2 fifteenths, not divisible by 2, 3, 3 fives. Now 5 ones, up to 1 you have to do. Now how many 2's are there now? 4, 2 power 4 into 3 power 1 into 5 power 1. Just like given number can be written as product of prime number. Now each power is increased by 1. So 4 is there, 4 power is 4, 2 power 4, 4 is increased by 1, power is increased by 1, 4 plus 1. How much 4 plus 1? 5. 3 power only 1 is there, increased by 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. 5 power 1 is there, power 1 is there, increased by 1, always increased by 1, power is increased by 1 and take the product. 5 power 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, so 5 to the 10, 10 to the 20. So for 240, how many factors are there? 20 factors are there. So without writing and without counting, we say how many factors are there for the given number. So based on this, so number of examples are there in the future competitive examination. So I will discuss with you in the future uh, exams also. Okay, in the future classes also, also, I will discuss with you some more examples on this. Uh, okay, number of factors it is. Okay, all of you understand? Okay. All of you share, please share this videos to your friends. Okay. Thank you to all of you.